World Bank regards primary health care as being a black box. A black box where you can see what's coming in, you can see what's coming out, you have no idea what's happening inside it. And so I told them that as a representative of the millions of primary health care workers around the world, I'm actually a bit insulted to have what I do described as being a black box. Uh, I understand what's happening, and so do you, uh, in the work that we do and the, the great service that we provide to our individual patients, their families and their communities. Uh, the fact that others don't understand just means they haven't looked closely enough. One of the things that we've been hearing is that primary health care can be described as a black box. Um, what's your take on that expression of primary health care as a black box? I heard that yesterday for the first time and mm. I was fascinated and I thought about it a lot afterwards. I've never heard it described as that but I actually think it's an interesting concept. And yesterday it was being described as, as the black box. Mm. I guess from the point of view that nobody understands what's going on in there, nobody understands who's in there, nobody mm. understands what the connections are. And I think there's a level of accuracy around yeah. that. But wouldn't it be neat if we actually embraced that whole kind of idea of the black box of primary health care mm. and we actually made that the game controller for the person in community so that they actually get to navigate their way through their epic health journey primary health care is more like a mosaic and um, it has uh, different components and yeah. some components are pretty core but you know primary health care and how it's funded and how it's available actually varies from place to place and system to system yeah. and I think that's part of the confusion. I see primary health care as where the first level or the first port of call that health consumers have with the health system mm. and I mean it covers so much you know from prevention health promotion and of course the interaction with the GP and the other health professionals that one comes in contact with. Look I think primary health care is the front line of our health system. The vast majority of Australians will use primary health care services at least once a year mm -hmm. and primary health care services of course cover a huge range they cover general practice they cover pharmacy they cover dentists they cover allied health so people do use them and they mm -hmm. use them all the time so in that sense it is the front line if you actually ask a consumer they would see primary health as you know the part that manages the biggest part of their health you know, you, you might interact with an acute service, you know, one-off occasion, but you certainly use your primary health care for, you know, your day-to-day -day living and your ongoing management of your health issues. The cost of them coming to us, you know, is so cost-effective. The best value of health service is in primary care. There's work done overseas by Lee Glenn, who mm -hmm. looked at the cost, and you can put it down for any currency you like, but the cost to see a GP is $50, yes. 50 euros. If that patient goes to emergency department, it's 500. If they're admitted into hospital, it becomes 5,000. And if, unfortunately, if they end up in ICU, intensive care, mm -hmm. it's 50,000. What our role to do is to advise government and really to take a whole of systems perspective. Mm -hmm. So not look at a single area, not just look at hospitals, not just look at primary care, not just look at community, but to cover the whole area and consider issues around uh, financial sustainability, how to improve health outcomes and how to do that over the short, medium, long term. And in that context, then really in the long term, that moves you down a path of um, reducing hospital admissions and trying to concentrate on keeping people well. The task for, for PHNs is, is to make sure that people in the community are able to actually understand their own health, um, they understand the health system, navigate the pathways and be able to connect with healthcare providers in a meaningful way. The research is constantly evolving and it's, you know, there is already a huge groundswell of research and, and our role is to make sure that we connect that in as well so that the researchers around 
you know, the, the researchers and the population health planning people, information people, mapping what's out there, um, and that's the needs assessments and the chronic disease spread and the population health databases mm. that are out there for each of our regional communities or each of our regions. Um, here it is, here's what's out there. We then need to know where the gaps are and they can help us with that as well. And then we find the innovative solutions that will assist in actually closing those gaps and connecting people better into the system so that they can get the healthcare services they need when they need them and where they need them. The truth of the matter is, if we actually want to keep people well and we want to keep um, improve people's quality of life, mm -hmm. then actually we need to be keeping out people out of hospitals. So hence the importance of primary health care as the Absolutely, front line. Absolutely, as the front line and preventing people getting into hospital, putting more investment in community-based services, putting more investment into um, those primary care areas that actually keep people well and not treating the illness. The beauty about primary care is it's ease of access. We live and work in our communities. We know our patients, we know their families, we know their extended families. Mm -hmm. We provide front level care. We provide all the care, really. Most of the care before they go to secondary or tertiary level care. So the primary thing about it is that the ease of access, the frequent contact with patients for those who need it, that's one of the cornerstones of holistic care that you provide at the primary care level. That's what primary care is. If we want to have universal health coverage, if we want to have every single person having access to health care, then we need strong primary health care.